we've talked before how we have to start our introduction with a hook, right? Why do we use the hook, Nathan? So it gets them interested in it and then they want to read the whole thing. Good, gets them interested in it, then they want to read the whole thing. And that becomes really important uh, when you're trying to be persuasive, when you're writing an article in the newspaper, when your job depends on it and your income depends on it, right? Uh, so what are the hooks that we've talked about in the past? So we talked about a fact, which was, we called it a statement. We had to write three types. That was one of them. A uh, question. A question. And there was one other kind. Blade? Wasn't there the opinion? There is. An opinion is one of them. That's not one that we wrote last time. Description. <laughs> Description. other options today um, just because we've kind of practiced these three a couple times so I want to add a couple more options for you that when you're writing your hook you might think about using the different a couple different kinds okay so looking over here we have the question like we talked about ask the reader the question that relates to the topic of the paper okay have you ever been out of the country and then this person is going to say, I have, over oh, spring break, my family went to Mexico. What's their story going to be about? Nathan? I'm going to Mexico. So I'm going to Mexico over spring break. Okay. So the question, I would challenge you that if you're feeling pretty comfortable with writing the hook, try not to use a question. Question is probably the easiest hook to write and probably the most basic um, and least interesting, quite honestly. So. Try to challenge yourself, if you feel comfortable writing the hook, challenge yourself to try one of the other hooks today instead of the question. Okay, the next one is a quote. That's a new one. And maybe it's one you've used in the past. That's new for what we've talked about this year. So it says, uses a quote, either famous or one from research, that relates to the topic of the paper. So if you're like researching a person, you could obviously use their, one of their quotes. Or where else could this quote come from? Addison? Well, on the board it says something from their brother, so it could be... So this is like dialogue, like of a character yeah. in the story. Like the brother said this on their trip to, um, to Louisiana. Um, you could use it from one of the websites that you're using. Exactly, from one of the websites. Kind of like we talked about here. If we're going to use a direct quotation, we put it in quotation marks and we give direct credit, we could do that as one of our first as our, as our first sentence in our hook, okay? And we would want to make sure we're not repeating any information, though, because would we want to use a hook of something that we're going to tell them later? No. No, because then they're going to go, well, didn't they already say that, right? So any, we'd want to make sure we use something that we didn't already say in the paper, okay? Um, description, we used that last time. Uses a description of the topic that gets the reader excited to hear more. Imagine the smell of burnt marshmallows, melting chocolate, and a roaring campfire. So I've used Addison's um, paper as an example for this one. She wrote about the Hallmark Channel, which reminds us of what time of year? Christmas. Christmas time, right? So she used a description of like that feeling of when you sit down with your cup of cocoa, you got your slippers on, and you're ready to watch the movie, right? That's a good description, the time to use that hook, right? Amazing fact. Fact and statement are pretty similar. But fact is really going to fit with this uh, research that we're doing, right? Because a lot of you could probably find a fact about whatever you're researching and hook us with that. It would need to be something really interesting um, and something that, again, you're not going to tell us later in the paper. Maybe something that just didn't fit in anywhere else. Um, so this person said, San Francisco is 1,500 miles away from my house and over spring break my family drove there. So again, they're talking about their spring break trip. Statistic is very similar to fact and statement, but a statistic uses more numbers. So some kind of a, some kind of a fact that uses some kind of a number-based um, fact. So here it says 25% of the kids in my class didn't go anywhere for spring break. So that's a statistic that tells us uh, a percentage. <clears throat> and then this is a final one that Blade actually mentioned earlier. <coughs> Opinion. So yes, this is a great, way to start there's many ways there's other hooks not even just like the ones i'm presenting but this would this be the right hook to use for the writing we're doing today no no why 
Debbie? It's an informational writing. It's an informational piece of writing. So we're trying to avoid opinion, right? So we wouldn't want to start with an opinion in this case. So I'm not going to add that to our list today, but knowing, keeping that in mind, what about when we start to do argumentative and persuasive writing? Would that be a good hook for that type yes. of writing? Sure, definitely would, because it would start that off with that, with that opinion. Okay? So today, you are going to be starting to write your hook. You could use any of these five types. Um, in the past, I've had you write all, all of the types and then choose one. This time, you can just write one of them. Just choose one of these types and start writing it, okay? So um, turn to your partner and tell them which one you think you might try first today. Okay, so I heard a lot of you saying different Thank things, you. things that you think might fit with your um, particular paper. Like I saw someone earlier who was researching a person, so they did a quote by that person. Or animals, some people did an interesting fact. So depending on what you're researching, there might be a better hook um, versus another. Um, so today what you'll be doing is you'll be writing one of those. I do want to check it when you're finished, so come and see me. And then when you're finished, you can go and put an X in the, um, on the writing process sheet. Um, when you're finished with that, uh, you can just read your blog. If you want to start looking at the thesis, you can, but we'll be focusing more on that tomorrow. Okay? Any questions before you type? All right. Go ahead.